Hi, I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion. Today, I'm going to take a few minutes to introduce you to BBUI.js. I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to tell you how, where you can get it. I'm going to tell you how to install it and how you get started. We're going to begin at BlackBerry's GitHub site, blackberry.github.com. Out here, you'll find all kinds of groovy open source projects. BlackBerry WebWorks is out here, Ripple, AliceJS, and even BBUI.js. BBUI.js is a JavaScript open source library that will enable your WebWorks applications to get that BlackBerry 10 look and feel. If we click on the link over here on the right, that'll take us to the main BBUI JS page. Now I encourage you after this conversation to pop out there and take a look at all the information. There's a ton of great information out here. There's sample files, there's documentation, there's even the source because it's open source. But for this presentation, we're just gonna jump right in and download the file. I click the downloads over here on the left, Click download a zip, save, because I'm on Windows, and that's going to download it to my directory. That's all there is to it. Now, let's get set up so a project can use BBUIJS. Over here in my downloads folder, over here on the right, you'll see there's blackberry-bbui.js and then the version number. If I double-click that zip file, that opens up the directory, Double click again, and here's where I've got all my source code and information. Now over here on the right, I already have set up an intro to BBUI project. Basically, it consists of the config.xml file, an index.xml file, the index.html file, an icon, and another screen. And we'll get to those in a second. Right now, I'm going to show you how to install BBUI.js to be used in this project. You see the PKG directory, the package directory? Double click that. There are two files, JS and CSS files. Those are the only two files you need in your project. I'm going to open up my scripts folder and I'm going to move that BBUI JS file into my scripts folder. Then I'm going to open up my CSS and do the same thing with the CSS. Now I've set up my project and it's ready to work with BBUIJS. Let's jump to the code, shall we? Here's my index.html file. I've done a couple things to my index.html file. I've added a link to the spreadsheet, as you can see here, and I've added a script reference for the JavaScript. I've also added a script reference to initialize the BBUIJS functions. That's the bb.init function. Now, I've passed a bunch of parameters in here, but if you just did bb.init with no parameters, it would take all the defaults. The parameters I've added are pretty straightforward. I've got a bb10 highlight color that I've specified. I've told it that the action bars and the control bars should use the dark bb10 theme. I've told it the list should use the light theme because dark is set to false. And I've also told it that when I'm working for the playbook, I want you to treat the playbook as a BB10 device. Now the way BB10 works is it uses fragments of HTML as screens. Then it uses Ajax to dynamically load those screens. So in my index.html, here my body tag loads the first screen. Body on load bb.pushscreen. I'm calling my first screen screen2.html and I've given it an ID screen2. When this index.html loads, bbuijs will grab the fragment from screen2.html. Let's take a look at that, shall we? So here's my fragment. It's very simple. I've got the doc type. Then I've got the opening div. This div is data-bb-type equals screen. Everything within this div will be part of my screen. I've given it an effect, fade. And now I've put in the content. Here I've given a title, so I'll have that nice BB10 title bar. The title I've given it is BBUI screen, and I've given it some text. Hello world, welcome to BBUI.js screen. And that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this runs.
So I'm going to bring up Chrome because I'm going to run this in the Ripple emulator. And the Ripple emulator is a Chrome plugin. I'm going to load localhost slash intro BB UI. And voila! There you go. You see I've got the nice title bar for the BBUI screen, and it says, Hello world, welcome to BBUI.js screen. And that's all there is to it. Now, one other thing I want to point out. I did make some changes to my config.xml file. Now, not all these changes are required for all the events, but you do need at a bare minimum for BBUI.js to add feature ID blackberry.systemevent and blackberry.app to your BBUI.js. Again, I refer you to the GitHub site for more details about each of these events. Today, we were introduced to BBUI.js. BBUI.js is an open source library which enables your WebWorks applications to get that BlackBerry 10 look and feel. You get it from our GitHub, blackberry.github.com, then click on the BBUI.js link on the right. It's very easy to install. You copy the JS file to your script directory. You copy the CSS to your CSS directory. To get started, in your index.html, index you provide a link to the CSS file and a link to the script file. Then you want to put in the BB init function to initialize the functions within the BBUIJS. And then you build your screens. That's all there is to it. I'm Tom Anderson, Senior BlackBerry Developer Evangelist with Research in Motion, and we'll talk again.